So welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday. And today I'm going to talk about two notes that I recently discovered inside of the Fusion page that are a great help if you want to create your um, composition and use it multiple times. So I'm talking about the saver and the loader node inside of Fusion page. So these nodes are amazing because if you are creating a very hard, a very heavy uh, composition for your machine, you can use the saver to work with, create the composition and save it and then use it, import it with the loader and that that uh, composition will be already rendered. So you it will be easier to work with. And the other option is if you want to use the composition later in other projects, you can then import it very easy. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can do it. So here we are inside of the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and I already have here a simple 3D composition of the word DaVinci Resolve and the symbol appearing be behind this uh, fast noise. So let's go into the Fusion composition and here we have the composition. As you can see, it's a simple 3D uh, animation and how can we export this uh, composition and use it in uh, later or with a simple how can I say it? Not being so heavy to your machine. So let's come over here into a blank space, shift space and type saver and we'll find it here SV and add it over here. Now come here to the node before the media and connect it to the saver. Select the saver, come here to the inspector and here in the file name, beneath the file name, you have the browse and now it will redirect to a place where we want to save the your composition. I'm gonna type DaVinci Resolve Noise and we have only the Open EXR option to save it. Let's say it save. And now you have here other options, but I don't use them. Here is the format, so this is auto float. So this is the compression. If you don't want any compression, you put none. Or if you can here in the compression level, you can adjust the compression level. If you want uh, lossless without any, uh, lose any quality, you can adjust it here. And you also have here the, the channels that are exported. So you have multiple, but I leave it as it is. Now, after you, you're done, with here, come here to the fusion in the menu that, and select render all savers. This will take a time, some time because it's gonna render every frame and let's wait until it's done. So it's finished. Now you have rendered and exported your um, composition so you can use it later. So now let's go to the edit page. Let's come here to the Fusion Composition, add another a new Fusion Composition, go over it and let's come to the Fusion page. Now let's load, let's import that Fusion Composition that we created. So shift space and type loader and it is LD, add it over here and immediately pops up the open file and go to the place where you select it. And as you can see, we have multiple files over here. So it will create all of those files, one file for each frame, but you just have to select the first one, open it and connect it to our media out. And now you have the composition over here and it will play better. And now you can add this and you can add multiple things. For example, let's add here a text over here. Let's go to the text and type here the M. Let's do and let's move it. And now the composition will be not that heavy because you don't you are not rendering the 3D time all the time. Now you are only re rendering here the, this because the loader already imports each frame 
of your um, composition that you created before. This is great because now if you go to another project and you want to load this again, it's very easy. You just use the loader and import it and it's easy. Now, if you go to over here to the edit page, as you can see, of course, it, it still needs to render, but it's much easier. You don't have that problem. If you were working directly with the 3D, it will be heavier to your computer and now it's easier. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time on a video. Until there, bye.